How's it going, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, the swan song of Saigon. Oh, I should have changed my fucking shirt. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. I guess I'm enjoying the flower power too much. All right. Previously, nothing happened. I talked about moving room because I'm running out of fucking ideas of stuff to talk about because let's be honest, there comes a point in the game where it just kind of loops a bit. I'm, I'm quite amazed I'm still alive. I'm quite, I'm quite amazed, like, I mean, I, I don't know what I, I should be, like, doing. Should I be ending it so I can compress this all into a certain amount of days, or or should I be, like, uh, just making this, like, last longer? What if there's, like, 50 more episodes to go? What if i got to get through 50... Is this room pink, or is it just me? No, it's just me. I think I always get a bit too excited for Lisa, and I just I just pray that she's like tainting my rooms. I really I like it. It makes me happy inside. Well, this episode I was gonna talk about my horror manga. My <laughs> Do you see how little I have left to talk about? It's something I'd been <laughs> oh God, what am I talking about? I really don't have anything to say. I read I've become what I hate. I, I talked about all those girls in the UK that have nothing to it's getting pinker. It's getting pinker. This is definitely pink. I mean, to be fair, I've seen this room pink and not have Lisa, but this is too pink. Okay, we're in the safe room now, so I guess maybe she was just like peeking at me, seeing how I was doing, checking I was eating my vegetables. Um, yeah, I become everything I hated. Fucking chatting shit with no real rhyme or purpose. Um, but why not talk about my life as a Jap oh god, Japanese manga. The actual raw stuff, that I want to see those Japanese symbols, none of this translated nonsense. I actually did that a lot um, from the second year of university, so 2020, particularly when COVID started hitting. Um, it was more because I wanted to do good at Japanese, it was something I always wanted to learn anyway because, you know, it, it's a good, um, it's a good language, people are actually making stuff in Japan that's innovative. They're actually making good stories and shit. I know America's got stuff, but a bit more, too much drama. England's got good writers. But, I don't know, I just think, like... I kind of miss the 2000s for the sake they actually had stuff I could look up to. America's had better cool soul in recent years. And Breaking Bad, which is getting... Well, a lot of praise. And that's good, it's just, you know... I want something fresh. I thought something was slowing me down there. I think I'm beginning to like hallucinate enemies. But yeah. <laughs> um, I stopped. What was my first Japanese manga I tried reading? Oh, you know what? It was my boss's cat, Bucho no Nyanko. And it was just basically about a girl. I think she got left at the altar or some shit. I did. Look, I didn't know what was happening because I couldn't translate all of it. I could just get like snippets of it. And I remember certain scenes. But it was just literally a girl, for some reason her wedding didn't go well, ended up with a guy somehow. And then I guess like, I don't know, did he like her dressing as a cat or was it just a thing she did? I don't know why she became a cat. It wasn't even like magic or anything. It was just like, yeah, she dresses up like a cat sometimes, I think. Was that even what happened? I don't even think I finished it. <laughs> I mean, I, I finished the issue I was on. What the? Oh, that's a weird thing in the corner. What was that? Someone just like just wiped some shit in the corner. What was that? Sorry, I didn't expect that. That took me by surprise. Right, this bitch is nothing to worry about. I'll just run away from her. Um, then I worried because I wanted something a bit more my type, something more I'd actually properly get into. I read Demon Slayer before Demon Slayer was a like a popular thing. I mean, back then I knew it was Kimetsu no Yaiba, and I was just like, oh, okay, I'll try this. It was the fucking best, and I was hoping, like, because at the time, I didn't even know it would become something popular that people would like. It's basically, like, in its own way, the next Yu-Gi-Oh, or the next Shonen Jump thing, you know? The next Doctor Stone, or whatever it's called. I don't even watch Doctor Stone, but I know it's, it was popular when it came out. So I was reading that, thinking, oh, this is a nice little indie thing, and then it exploded! And then everyone liked it! And I was like, man, that story deserves it. And I never, well, I tried watching one episode of it, but because I already knew what was happening, I didn't know exactly, I mean, I just, I guessed more from the visuals than anything. When they started talking English, I was like, no, this isn't right. I, I'm not meant to understand what they're saying, except for when they attack, like, water type 8 or whatever it was. <laughs> like, you know, 
that was really fun being able to see something like as, as just as it comes out become popular with the boys and toys so you know there's that then I tried going for something even more my thing horror manga I went for my first hey we got splodge hey splodge we still got babs as well no that's a bit sad okay you, 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 game, you can give me, like, more than one demon. I do know how to juggle. Alright, I mean, well, if, you, if you don't want, if you're feeling a bit shy today. Or if you're feeling a bit shy for the rest of the days. Um, I did Junji Ito. I think I just did a collection of short stories first. But I did eventually read Uzumaki, which was magical. I especially like the bit where that the girl's face, like, just became a spiral for no particular reason. <laughs> One of the fun things about... Japanese literature in general a lot of things happen for no particular reason and I get that Harry Potter are oh, magic why is that there no particular reason Lord of the Rings why is there this ring where did they come from oh no particular yeah but at least it feels like a bit realistic there it's like a nice what if and then everything else has to be serious with Japanese literature fucking anything fucking anything <laughs> it's just the funniest darnest thing I think it's one of the reasons I, I like Japanese literature. It can just fucking do whatever it wants. And it works. Because they just shove in, like, a very highly referenced thing. Like, they shove in enough, like, knowledge to show they're capable writers, and then it's fine. Take, like, Moriarty the Patriarch. Just, like, shove in the, um... French Revolution guy, I've forgotten. Uh, Maximilian Robespierre. Shove in a James Bond reference. Shove in... Is this the looping room? Yes, yeah, uh, I thought it might be the reindeer, then. Shove in fucking anything British related that sounds sophisticated and, and you know, you'll have faith in the writers. That's their strategy. It's, it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I, the last thing I started reading was another horror manga called Radio After Effect. I think its actual name is Radio Shujo, but they don't have an English word for Shujo. The closest thing is like After Effect. I got to like issue... Four, which I need to finish. I want to like like finish one more issue before I go China. But it's hard to actually read through. And the fact is, I can't exercise my Japanese because I don't need my Japanese. I want my Japanese. The fact is, I can't even like watch a Japanese sub thing because like it's hard to keep up with the words that come out. An English dub with Japanese subtitles is a bit easier because then you can kind of like reading's easier than speaking it or even listening to it. But you know. One of the reasons why I think I should go to Japan. I should actually learn the language and stuff. Because I've got a head start. No, I mean, why not? I actually have to learn it properly, though. I actually have to use it. Is that is that possible? Probably not. Alright, I've run out of stuff to say now. I actually have. Oh, you know what? Except for, like, a dream I had. And considering I've, I'm only mentioning... It, oh, God. I'm only mentioning this now after uh, fucking 12 episodes. I had a dream about Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, and hence it's the reason why I decided I'd play it today. I t <laughs> so I dreamt I was in an Egyptian room, like an Egyptian set of rooms, and I was being fo followed like, by like two mummies. They weren't like instantly recognisable enemies as far as I know. They looked a bit like the hospital, you know, the guy I jammed to. Oh, I thought that was someone else then. And then fucking, I was running away from that, the rooms were complex, and it was horrible because this game always puts me a bit on edge. But then I like the adrenaline, that's why I play it so much. Then I went down a fucking Tomb Raider ramp, a little slidey bit. And what do I find at the end? I find I can't move. And like there's like 10, 15 of those clowns that are harmless in this game, swarming around me and killing me. And then I wake up. And then I actually think, shit, did I just lose my playthrough? Did I just lose my fucking... <laughs> did I lose it through dreaming? And then common sense kicks in. It's like, no, you can't play a game through your brain, Mr. Charles. I mean, at this point, I don't even know if it's... I think this thing's like more and more than Captain Jack Hartness. No. <laughs> Where's the challenge? Where'd it go? Why did we donate it? Is he... Is it... Is the fucking spider... Go Come on! Literally, when I was working trying to get that fucking speed highway up... I'd get like three demons I didn't like at once, and I couldn't see jack shit. And then I look, with this, it's just like, I shouldn't be complaining. It's just like, I, I want to feel like I've earned these 6,000, well, it's going to be 200, 6,200 rooms. 
And now I feel like, no, this is being gift wrapped to me. <sighs> okay, now I really have run out of stuff to say. <laughs> I've got nothing. Except that, what, I'm running out of coffee. I've watched Shawshank Redemption the other day. Not for the first time, I watched that a lot in my, um, my school of Porchester. Which was fun. It's called Harewood School or something shit now, but... I keep thinking something's gonna follow me. This game does make you paranoid. It's a good thing that, you know, this this rule of thumbs doesn't, like, apply in the real world. Like, I'm not gonna play this game and then it turns out, uh-oh, I'm gonna fucking get stalked by a demon. Man, even if you got Spooper and Lisa out again, like, what could potentially kill me with 14 rooms left? What, what could happen? I wonder. I fucking wonder. God, at this point, I might as well get rid of the fucking camera. <laughs> I don't have any... I don't have words in my brain. Uh... I need to read Bleach, actually. Uh, Bleach and Berserk. But I want Berserk to finally be finished in manga form. And Bleach, I don't know why I'd read that. Because I think I'm happy enough with that. I know there's like the Thousand Year War. I didn't even watch the anime when it came out again. Because they changed the music. The music sounded boring when I watched the, you know, the return of Bleach on TV. Kind of made me sad that, to be honest. But, I don't know. I guess Bleach wasn't... It was kind of my thing. But bear in mind, they abused their fan base a bit. They put in filler arcs that were just terrible. And when something did happen, like... <laughs> what did it amount to in the end? It was all... Look, I love Bleach for the music. And i got to admit, I wouldn't mind doing the um, manga just for the sake of it. It's just... Would I enjoy it? I don't know. I'd... Anyone's guess. I like the guy with the hat, though. He's cool. I still need to finish Naruto, Shippuden, and One Piece. But then One Piece is just never going to end. I actually think I'm going to die before they end One Piece. I mean, sure, I could just go for that Netflix version, but... <laughs> By the time they finish the Netflix series, fucking Luffy's going to be, what, 100 years old? They're having a like, little wheelchair. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Really? Re again? God damn it. Where's the good... <laughs> How am I getting this lucky? No one's this lucky. Not even like a lottery ticket winner is this lucky. I feel like I'm winning the lottery like 20 times. I don't even want it. For fuck's sake. Oh. Oh, ha, ha. I don't want to be a boring mess player. Maybe you guys would prefer it if I just shut the fuck up. But I, I'm too much of a bitch not to whine. I'm too much of one. Yeah, you can try and knock on that door. You know, you got to think about the fucking amount of fucking damage to property this fucking thing has done. All these demons breaking down the doors. You know, who's, who's going to fix them? Who's going to motherfucking fix them? It's just not really good, is it? I mean, Spooky's going to need to get a fucking ghost accountant or some shit. In her army or something, whatever. <laughs> what am I on now? 116! Oh, God. Well, I might eventually reach the top 100. I'd be impressed. I don't feel like I deserve it. Right, I've, I've really got to come up with new stuff to talk about. Even like, I don't know, my favourite pair of glasses. I, that's not even, I don't even have a favourite pair. They're just things you look through. I'm <laughs> just so... <laughs> How am I still alive? There are demons after me. These demons need to go to demon school and learn to fucking actually catch something. It's insane. All right, we've gone to the games. Let's see if you can survive this long by some miracle. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, a little bit scratch out this time. See ya.